Hi, I'm Amr, one of the co-founders of Bitto. We believe dev agents, which are agents for developers that help in your everyday workflows and tasks, are really the superpower of AI, and we want to help them be your superpower. Our first agent is our code review agent. We all know code review is a super critical process in shipping high quality code and coaching engineers, but it can also be super time consuming and block engineers while they are waiting to get feedback. On top of that, it is a really important quality gain. Bitto's AI code review integrates directly into GitHub and GitLab and does four major things. First, it summarizes your PR on a number of dimensions. I'll show you that in a second. It provides a detailed code review and provides line level feedback. It fully understands your repo and brings that knowledge to the code review. And then it also bundles in static analysis tools and open source vulnerability analysis tools to recommend code fixes for those critical issues. Let's show it to you. The code review fits within your normal workflows. You can configure it as a Git hook. So as soon as a PR or a merge request is submitted, it automatically runs within a few minutes. Let's take a look at some of the output. So I've got a PR here from my team. It's about our code completions product that we launched a little while ago. And I can go and check out the diff here of the diff view so I can see all the different changes in the diff view. So it's a meaningful size PR, 15 you know, different files were touched. So the first thing when you run is that it, this is all produced from Bitto's code review agent. It provides a quick summary of what, what, what ran. So we had an AI-based review that was ran this successfully, static analysis ran successfully, and then security check analysis ran successfully. It summarizes the PR. So it says this PR introduced several new components and modifications to existing code to support the feature of updating query limits in the Aerospike database through a new completion Aerospike FAME client. It also defines what type of change it was. So there's a feature addition, configuration changes, it tells you if unit tests were added, and it estimates how much effort it is going to be to review that. It also gives you detailed code suggestions in the diff view, but I'll come back to that in a second. Then it also gives you some high-level feedback about the PR in general. So it's saying it introduces a significant feature addition, um, lack of unit tests raises some concerns, and then it actually goes into some various security concerns that it provides. So these are uh, a vulnerability was found in terms of um, for Golang, uh, dependency version is 15. It says you need to be, you'd be using version .17, and it introduce and it provides you that suggestion. All right, now let's jump into the diff. So in this diff, I can see here that it's recommended a security for the first file here. It's recommended a security issue. So it says the method signature for update limit is messing the request header annotation for the authorization parameter, and it gives you a code suggestion here about that. Moving along, here's another suggestion it has in this file, in the Aerospike endpoint service file. So it says the implementation of update completion query limit directly calls the feign client with a try clatch block without considering retry mechanisms or circuit breaker. This could lead to scalability issues under high load or if the dependent service is terminally unavailable. And then it provides a detailed code suggestion and it also explains how to fix it. Here's one more suggestion it provides. This is a suggestion about a null check for this plan feature.get.get value here before parsing it to integer. This prevents potential number format exceptions if the value is null or not a valid integer. So overall, it provided a number of suggestions. I didn't show you them all, but I just showed you kind of some of the major ones. You can even run this from your CLI to try it out before you put it into production if you'd like. Or you can try it out through our self-hosted self version. This agent is available as a web service in the Bitto cloud that you can configure by logging into Bitto.ai. So if you just go to Bitto.ai and you sign in here and you, lo and you log in, you can then, once you're logged in, you can go to Explore Agents and you can say Create a New Instance here. And then you can choose your Git provider. We support GitHub, GitLab, GitHub Enterprise, GitLab Enterprise, and then you can go through the quick configuration. It takes a couple of minutes and you can set it up as a Git hook. This is only currently available to 10x plan members, but you can email us at support at bitto.ai for a free trial. 
So in summary, Bitto's AI code review, we believe, can cut code review time in half and improve the quality of your code reviews. Soon the agent will also be available in our IDE extension. Hope you try it out and enjoy. Thank you.